Hi, I'm Michael Newrock from TrendProfiteer.com and welcome to today's market analysis review, July the 10th, 2018. Glad you can join me and I look forward to pumping these uh, analysis videos out on a regular basis. Uh, now, this is gold. We're going to go over a bunch of charts, take a look at what's hot and what's not, basically. What looks like it's got decent potential of making a return and what doesn't. Now, currently gold is looking bi-directional, uh, but I, I took a trade out just a few minutes before this video. If we look at the daily, um, and I'll try to explain a little bit more why, we can see daily we've been looking, to, we've been going to the downside. Um, that's quite clear there. On the weekly, we're also moving downward. So what I could have done is I could have waited for the four hour to, um, let's go back to the four hour, for the four hour to have developed a, 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 a trend trade. However, it's looking pretty low already. So what I did is I hopped over to the one hour chart and uh, what I did, the swing occurred just before this uh, video started. And I used my, I actually missed the alert myself, but it had just occurred. So I used my manual command, go short. Um, and that allowed me to enter the trade and have the trade managed completely by um, Trend Profiteer. So I don't have to worry about moving stops and so on. I can just observe how the trade is going and, you know, maybe change the settings if needed. But that is underway. We'll check that later on in the uh in the session now what i'm looking at on the euro is the euro has been overall stronger than the pound you can see here on the euro pound chart it has been moving upwards six out of six high time frames are pointing up so i'm looking at a potential long trade it's showing for four out of six are pointing up um, now i move to the four to the 15 minute because i want to get in on this trade um, when there's a good opportunity. I could keep it on this four hour chart and wait for a swing trade to the upside. You can see here, these recent swing trades have done quite well. Um, but I thought I'd mix it up a little bit, although I do like to stick to the higher time frames like the four hour. Uh, I will drop down to the one hour or even the 15 minute. They're my favorites um, if I want to get in on a, on a trade. We'll check on this uh later on in this video and see how it's going how it's going now we obviously we need a few things to occur for the alert to occur but i'm parking it on the 15 minute now uh and uh, we'll see how we go aussie aussie has been going to the downside overall if we look at uh, on the daily chart we can see it's been going downward and uh, on the weekly, we can see it's been going pretty heavily to the downside as well. So currently, it's looking at, on the four hour anyway, as potentially moving upward. Um, now, if this continues, if the price continues to move down, then all bets are off. It's, it's going down again. It's had its little move up. But, you know, if we get some correction down to here, maybe the MACD stays above the zero line and then swings upward we could see some more movement upward. Um, but just be careful with that. The Aussie is the stronger out of the Aussie and the Kiwi. You can see here on the Kiwi, it is looking like moving upward as well. So it's just a matter of, this, of, of seeing which one is the best if you want to uh, take this trade. But, you know, I do stress you need to wait, obviously, for a valid trade to occur. Um, this last swing trade has not been going well, um, but it's only really a few pips at this stage. We're only talking about 20 odd pips. Uh, so for now, I'm not really interested in this particular one, but if I was looking for another trade, then I'd be waiting for a swing trade to occur. Okay, dollar CAD. Dollar CAD is interesting. I've been really bullish on the US dollar overall, and uh, we could be seeing a good potential move upward. Uh, we've had these swings after this trend trade, we've had these three swings push it down, but we've now seen price bust through the slow moving average. This is the first indication that we're gonna get potentially a moving average crossover. That's the gold moving average, the, the faster of the two. 
uh, crossing over the slow moving average. Now RSI is almost above the 50, MACD has just popping above, you can see the green there, it's a bit brighter than the than the darker green, indicating it's above the neutral line and the stochastic is also pointing up. So the reason why I like this as well is that uh, on the four hour we have been moving upward overall and uh, this recent downward trade has already been not completely rejected but it's looking like the upward move isn't over yet. Um, it, looks to me more like just a, a, a correction to the downside. And on the weekly, we can see here the last two weeks it has been going down. But if we get a movement to the upside, then this will move up. We'll get um, this weekly high time frame turning to green and uh, we'll be back in on a long trade for the dollar CAD. So getting back on the four hour, that's what I'd be looking at. You could look at getting in a little bit earlier. Um, See on the one hour, it has already moved up. We've got a swing that just occurred a couple of hours ago and uh, and it's moving up. If this continues to move, this would be a great trade because it was taken around uh, here. And we've got, you know, 80, 90 pips easy in uh, potential profit. So there's a possibility there or even on a shorter time frame, but I'm sticking on the four hour with this because you never know, this move may be a false upward move. Um, but we'll see how we go over the next couple of hours with this. Dollar Swiss, this is an interesting one. I took this a couple of weeks ago, posted it in the, in the chat room, and you can see this one here went really well. Since then, I've been out of the market with Dollar Yen because I'm really only looking at longs on this, um, on this pair. And the reason, again, is if you look on the higher time frames, daily is showing upward. You know, it's 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 been very strong to the upside, and on the weekly, you can see also it's been moving upward. Now, if we get another upward move, now we'll see this MACD histogram turning green as well, which will change that HTF uh, directional arrow to green. So we'll get four, five, maybe six green arrows if we get uh, some, a move to the upside now. So I'm waiting for this moving average uh, to. Uh, crossover to occur. Trend followers all already turned green and the other indicators are in play as well for a decent trade. And it's a little higher than I would like, but if it got in here, you still got about 50, 60 pips in potential profit before it hits this um, recent high. But then you've got, you know, looking at the weekly, you've got plenty of room for upward movement. So if we look at from here, you've got about 400 pips to this high here. Um, and to here, we've got about 130, 140. So I like the dollar Swiss a lot. I'm just waiting for some action to occur. And uh, that's definitely one of the hot ones for this week. Uh, dollar Yen, I took a couple of weeks ago, same day that I took the dollar Swiss. And I uh, didn't post it in the chat room at the time because I don't want to see anyone taking uh, too many trades. Uh, so you know, personally, only take one or two trades a week, sometimes three, depending how much uh, profit is already you know, in my existing trades and, and how my stops are. But on a weekly cycle, I, I generally only take about one or two trades. I could increase that, I'm sure, but it suits my lifestyle and I've got you know, other things to do. So I, I personally just focus on, on securing the best trades that I can possibly find and you know, not delving from that. And, you know, it's probably, um, I would say, the, the biggest reason that people uh, fail with trading in general and Forex trading in particular, and that's because they're over trading. They're always looking at, uh, looking at the markets as a bit of a casino and they always want to be in the game. And the facts are, it's just not you know, really appropriate to be trading on a daily basis or taking a new trade or multiple trades a day is, is definitely, you know, it depends on your lifestyle, like I was um, referring to before. You can use Trend Follower, uh, Trend Profiteer to, to scalp the market uh, and you can do that, but you need to really be supervising your, um, your trading uh, software you know, throughout the day. So this dollar yen, um, we're looking at six out of six high time frames pointing up. And I'm pretty excited about this because, you know, looking at the daily, um, once it breaks, if it breaks this recent high, then we have to look at the weekly as, an, as another reference. And there's plenty of room 
for movement here. We've got you know, 350 odd pips to that high and about 750 pips to this high here. So just going back to the four hour, I'm optimistic with the dollar yen. Now, my first part of my trade, this is a two trade, um, two split trades uh, trade, and it was taken out here. So, you know, it's a bittersweet thing, but it's always important to lock in your profits. In this case, it was closed in profit. So uh, some of my equity or my equity in that part of the trade was converted into capital that increases the dollar amount of my account. And my second part of the trade was still in. Now, I was a little lucky on this one. Uh, it survived actually being wiped out three times. It would have closed in profit, but I'm much more keener to to uh, to get a, a bigger profit than a smaller profit. Um, you know, that's really the nature of the game in trading. That's what we're hunting all the time. So dollar yen's looking positive. There's no real trade at this stage um, if you're not already in the trade. Um, this alert came out just recently, but it's already a bit too high. So you're leaving yourself a little exposed for possible uh, correction. Euro yen's looking uh, upward. Pound yen is also upward, but out of the two, I personally prefer the euro yen as I was uh, showing before the euro pound chart is always a good indication of which is stronger the euro or the pound and i use that as a, a way to uh, decide which pair to take uh, the, if i'm looking at say for example the euro pound or the pound yen uh, sorry the euro yen and the pound yen so aussie yen also looking upward kiwi yen you know they pretty they often closely correlate each other, not all the time, but they uh, tend to most of the time. Swiss yen and CAD yen all looking upward, um, but again, I'm not really interested in any of them because I've got my um, uh, my dollar yen trade going. Euro Aussie is looking potentially, um, it's a bit difficult to tell because it's just been going, you can see this seesaw or this roller coaster ride of up and down and these trades were just getting wiped out. Um, so I wouldn't have been taking an upward trade at these t at these points because they're just too high up. Um, that's why I always like to wait for better trades like this trade here went uh, particularly well. This one did too, but it was short lived after this correction. But this one's been going quite well uh, if you were in that one. So Euro Aussie. It's a, a little tricky to decide. Um, we need to see a bit of a collapse on the on the euro, uh, but uh, or an increase in the Aussie for this to occur. And I'm unsure of either of those, so it's not a trade that um, that I'm uh, want to speculate with at this stage. Pound Aussie pound has been weaker, so we've seen a, a higher drop, but. Uh, at this stage, there's no trade, um, maybe a potential swing, but you need to have some patience and wait for that to occur. Euro Kiwi also looking to the uh, hard to say um, whether it's ongoing downside has been very, very gradual. So I don't put much credit into this. Uh, it looks more of a correction than, uh, than a, a downward move. And the uh, pound Kiwi has also been moving down after uh, the, this uh, nice big movement upward. Aussie CAD is a, a trade that I posted uh, yesterday and today it hit in the chat room and today it hit uh, target one. Now since then it's taken my first part of my trade out. It looks like it just did it to uh, the stop was set here. I can just get that up. You can see that line, hopefully. Oh, there it is. Uh, so just like with the dollar yen, it's always bittersweet because it looks like it's going to go up again. And I would rather both trades in than, um, than just one trade. However, you know, I still have the second part of my trade. When target two is hit, this will be moved up to uh, you know, around here. And then the third target, my trailing methodology is going to continue to um, to follow it, and I've got it set on the uh, slow moving average. So let's see how it goes. I know uh, some members in the chat room have taken this trade, uh, and uh, and are happy with the results so far. It's got a long way to go, and there's a lot of potential here. So um, Aussie CAD is is looking uh, 
is looking pretty pretty good for a continued run to the upside. KiwiCAD weaker, uh, as I uh, inferred before, the Aussie is stronger out of the two, uh, so no trade on that one. EuroCAD is um, is looking fairly weak as well, and it's not a pair that I would be looking at. Pound CAD, again, with the weakness in the pound, has uh, thrown this one into a bit of chaos. So I'm not really looking at this one. I don't really see a trade there. Uh, okay, Aussie Swiss, this might be a nice one. If we get a correction on the Aussie overall and that pushes us down, then we could get a swing trade. But there's a couple of better opportunities, as I pointed out in this um, in this session. The, the dollar CAD, the dollar Swiss, uh, potentially good new ones to uh, to wait for, and uh, maybe a uh, a swing trade on the um, on the euro. Kiwi Swiss has been going a bit flatter, so I don't really see any trade there. And unless we saw some real movement on the Kiwi, and that might be brought on just by a bit of a crash in the Aussie, for example, because that would bring the Aussie new Kiwi pair down and giving more strength to the Kiwi. But it's not really a strategy that I would be focusing on at the moment. CAD Swiss has been going sideways. I don't really see a trade there at this stage. Uh, I mean, if we get another movement to the upside, then uh, another swing to the upside, but it's already pretty high. So not such a good one to get into. Euro Swiss currently is looking like it's moved. And, and if you follow the indicators and you can see you have a compelling reason for that trade, then, then uh, you can see that on, on most cases that the... Um, the trend profit air system picks these points up in both trend trades and uh, swing trades. And pound Swiss, you can see this correction occurred on all pound related pairs um, that I have in my um, on my platform here. So I don't really see any uh, any trade here. Although if we get a nice movement up, we see some movement in the um, some more strength in the in the pound. Uh, that may give a swing trade to the upside, but it, it's just not one that I'm really interested in. And you can see here the higher time frame uh, indicator is showing four out of six uh, pointing down. If we get a swing up, it would be three, three. But again, it's not really a trade that I'm into at the moment. So let's just finish off today by taking a quick look at gold which i pointed out earlier so that's moving uh, downward still it has been retracing a little bit um, but you know it's, it's been in profit from the moment the trade was taken so uh, i um, i am hoping that one goes well the euro that's another one's been finding a bit of stability here on the 15 minute time frame and i'll be looking at taking that potentially later today on either the uh the um 15 minute as a trend trade or as i pointed out earlier as a swing trade on the four hour you can see the macd is still above the um the neutral line and i like it when you get that gradual movement down and the macd is um is, is fairly close that's what i like to see so with that, I'll conclude today's market analysis uh, review i look forward to uh, to bringing out another one uh next week and um, we um, we will um, hopefully do continue to do well. The trades that I've posted in the chat room have been going exceptionally well. Over 90% winners so far. Uh, and uh, I look forward to, to meeting you. If you haven't been in the chat room, come and say good day. Uh, and uh, thanks very much for, uh, for watching this video. Look forward to, uh, to sharing another one with you real soon. Cheers.